What's up Full Gas family and welcome back to our new video. So this weekend it's the European Championship in the 250 class here in Italy and Ottobiano and looking forward to some great racing. The track here is quite sandy but it's spectacular and nice so can't wait to get riding and uh, get racing. So yeah, it's Friday today and going to do the regular Friday stuff before the event starts tomorrow, Saturday. So yeah, let's do the Friday stuff. We got a new video uploading, training in Durnoland. I had some good sessions before going here to Ottobiano training this week in uh, Italy. So on Tuesday we were at Durnoland, which the video is uploading now. And then Wednesday I was at Cremona. There I didn't make a video, but yeah, I had an awesome time. I made a short Instagram video. So check out the edit from Cremona in my Instagram, Kevin Orimo24. Hello my friend, preparing some googles or what? No. No? I only think. I already done it so I can watch him. This is Rasmus Håkansson, a very fast Swedish Yamaha rider from uh, Omot in Kinnared in Sweden. And there we have the crazy dad eating as always. <laughs> <laughs> technical control and uh, bike checking is done everything was looking perfect now going to eat a little bit and then we're going to cycle with him usually I cycle Fridays as I said before Thursdays off Friday cycling so let's get it it's very hot that so very hot I'm so glad just gotten changed ready for some cycling Let's do it. What a nice cycling ride, then got in shower now, so uh, now it's time to relax and then walk the track with my dad a little bit later on.
good morning full gas family so today is race day one I just finished up with the time practice actually it was a quite quite good one I had the fifth best time I couldn't get the best lap I struggled a little bit but yeah fifth time is quite good and ninth gate pick for the races when you combine both groups so that's decent and we can uh, work with that so looking forward to the racing going to watch the last chance from uh, Rasmus because uh, he didn't qualify directly so going to watch the last chance and then uh, yeah just relax and get ready for uh, race one which is in the evening about uh, six o'clock so a long wait a lot of hours and then uh, we race in the evening so uh, let's just wait around a little bit and catch you up a little bit later <laughs> We are here at gate for race 1 of the European Championship in the 250 class here in Italy. Pushing my bike onto the metal mesh ready for a good start. A perfect release on the clutch and a good jump over the gate going 2-3 into the corner here. Drifting a little bit wide in the first corner, so a couple of guys pass on the inside, but still a good start and one of the best this season. Going on the inside here and passing the KTM rider. The Kava got a little bit of a better drag out of the turn and squeezes me on the right side there. At this moment I'm pushing hard to pass the Kava because I know I could uh, run for the victory because I was feeling very great and very good in the sand. The Kava make a little bit of a mistake here but I wasn't close enough and he still was in front. Lap 1 complete and going into the turn before the fit lane for the second time. Unfortunately here I make a small mistake. It was not a big crash at all, just pull in the clutch and then uh, get the bike back up. But it was enough to push me down a couple of places. When you make mistakes like that in the first laps of the race, a lot of people go past you and yeah I was in 8th position. Not too bad after a small crash, but yeah, here I go past the KTM again, so went back up to 7th. Next man on the list was uh, Jet Lawrence, talented 14 year old from uh, Australia. I was stuck behind him for a lot of time because he was riding really great in the sand and really defensive, so I couldn't find my way past. In lap 7 I had catched up to the back of Jet and yeah I was ready to go for the pass. I go on the outside here and I don't know if he make a small mistake on the inside but I go past on the outside here, riding really strong. Then fast forward to lap 11, I had uh, got myself into the back of the Jamma which had actually a good gap over me 4-5 seconds after I passed the Suzuki, but I closed the gap back down and uh, and fought hard to get the pass stick and he make a small mistake here which allowed me to get right into the back of him and go on the outside here of him actually so a really great pass in the end. 
On the final lap I started to catch up to the three leaders actually so I was riding very strong in the end of the race and felt good all the race actually. Felt good on the bike, felt strong and uh, the hot weather didn't bother me too much. My last chance of a pass was at this uh, wave section before the finish. He make a small mistake and I close the gap very fast and almost going past here but uh, he got a little bit of a better drive than me and uh, yeah. I wasn't close enough to make a pass here in the last corner either so I had to settle for a fourth in Moto1. Some nice food after first race here, was a good one. Yeah, so uh, pretty happy with that one, I was riding strong, so yeah. Shame that I crashed on the second lap, I think, so that was a shame because I think I could fought for the win, but yeah. Fort is good and uh, I kept pushing and I was happy with, my, happy with my riding, so all good for tomorrow. Going to eat this. And then relax and get ready for tomorrow. And Mia was excited after race one also. Some chicken, uh, rice, avocado, tomato and erucola salad. And also a dessert one, lemon soda. What's up full gas family? So race day two here, race two on a Sunday so yeah going to get changed soon was a good day yesterday so hoping to have a as good or better race today but we will see just focus on the start try to do my best and uh, keep pushing then uh, we will have a great result for sure I know it so it all depends on the start really and how I push the first few laps so looking forward to racing had a quite good night of sleep so fully prepared for race 2 Let's do it. We are at the gate for race 2 of the European Championship in the 250 class here in Italy. Pushing my bike onto the gate, putting my Ariete googles onto my Aero helmet. It's time, time to drop the clutch. Once again, a really good jump over the gate but someone on the outside had a really really good start and yeah I got a little bit scared so I braked really early into the corner which put me down in the order uh, quite a bit I was in uh, around 10th place a lot of banging of the bars going on the first few laps and uh, yeah I tried to stay aggressive and not let anyone by and try to pass as many riders as possible Because of that I uh, tried to hold the gas into the corner really long but yeah the Husqvarna sneaks up on me on the inside. Some bar banging action going on and the Kawasaki and Husqvarna make a small mistake. I saw the possibility of uh, passing the Husqvarna but uh, I wasn't prepared on the bump after the, after the inside alternative. My bike kicked a little bit in the back because I brake because of the Husqvarna and then when I hit into the bump yeah some strange things happened and uh, my bike wanted to go out on the left side so then I just uh, went onto the hard uh, hard sand so both wheels just slipped and I make a crash so 
that was unfortunate because it put me back a lot of places but you can see I'm already up and trying to catch as many people as possible when I make a small mistake again but yeah let's just enjoy this montage of some uh, passing Last pass of the race right here, passing the Honda for 14th place. So we are just about to head from the track now. Second race was not the best. I was like 14 in start, got up to 8, 7, 8 in a couple of turns actually. I was riding really strong. Then I came together with one rider on a jump and uh, I landed on the very slick inside so my just both wheels went sideways and I crashed on the first lap unfortunately yeah in the first lap everyone is packed together so I was when I get going again I was like 34 35 or something I pushed hard all the moto and uh, yeah could pass to 14 in uh, the last straight actually so quite happy with my riding I was pushing hard and felt really strong so could of course been better with uh, not a mistake on the first lap there but it is what it is and uh, the most important is to learn to next time and also to ride good and feel good after the race and fought hard in the hard conditions so yeah it's overall just a good weekend so now we are heading off the track now going home to Norway actually again so uh, been three good uh, race weekends now it's two weekends off and then the Norwegian Championship actually only one weekend off and then the Norwegian Championship will be good I think can't wait so yeah I just want to thank you for watching and staying to the end and uh, yeah thanks for watching and until next time remember to keep full gas so see you soon bye <laughs>